right, hey you guys, welcome to another Cook With Me. Today we have something really awesome, super easy. You guys know we love easy. So this is one of those easy go-to, throw in the crock pot, make your house smell amazing meals. Yeah, we'll try to get a clip of the kids when they walk home from school and see if they, if walk, there's a reaction. Yeah, they'll walk in and be like, Ooh. Ooh, what is that? That's like the best part about Crock-Pot Mills, I feel like. It's yeah. like the smell all day long. So, I don't have a kid here working with me today because they're all at school. Crock-Pot Mills gotta go in in the morning, so you white guys won't see them in this clip anyways. But we've got a, yeah. we've got someone else special yes, too. Yes, we have an Ina. An Ina? An Ina. We have an Ina. <laughs> we have an awesome collab today, you guys. This person is just tell them they've already seen the title all right fine oh that's true <laughs> all right so noreen from noreen's kitchen you guys she is amazing she's like a pro cook like a pro right a like, pro everything pro everything i just like look up to her in so many ways and like the wonderful thing about youtube is you get to know these different people on youtube and she's been one person who has been like our cheerleader, like throughout From day this one. whole thing. Yeah, and so we just love her. She has a good heart. She is like an amazing, amazing cook. Most of you guys probably already know her, already follow her, but if you don't, you are missing out. You guys gotta go to her channel, check her out. Today we're doing a collab, so check out what Noreen is making for this collab. Noreen is making a sheet pan dinner with chipotle, apricot, glazed pork, tenderloin, roasted sweet potatoes, and roasted broccoli. Okay, my mouth was watering. Are I think I drooled. Me? I think I just drooled no, on the kitchen like, floor. It, and it looks amazing. I'm like, oh my gosh. So you guys are getting two for one. Like these are our go-to dinners for, for our busy nights. So this is something that we do, that we do and that Noreen does for her busy go-to nights. So here we go. for busy weeknights, super easy, super delicious. So basically, you're gonna we're gonna brown the meat first. That's the probably the hardest part of this, which is and it's that's easy. So we just brown the meat and then literally dump everything into the crock pot, let it cook for six hours, boom, done. Bam, easy yeah. peasy. It's so easy and it's so 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 good. So does this mean we get to bust out the meat masher? Yes, we do. All right, you guys. So first step. We're gonna brown the meat. I have like two pounds of meat right here. So you can do less or more, whatever is suitable for your family. Make sure you've got your invisible gloves on. That's right. Don't spit on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna get crap for that. <laughs> Good thing it's just for our family. But no, this is awesome, like, cause fall's right around the corner. Chili is the bomb for fall. Like we make a lot of chili and we enter chili cook-offs for our church. Although we don't do it here. <laughs> we did, I know you haven't done it here. At our last church, we did chili cook-off and- You got second place. I got second place, so boom. And this is the easiest recipe that you would never even think like, really, like that's, there's not much to it, but. So good. It's good guys, not gonna lie. It's good. Check out that meat masher. Yeah, meat masher. <laughs> <laughs> what video? What cook with me did we first come out with the meat masher? Ooh. That's a good one. Do I even know that? Who's a true fan bammer? The true fan bammer question. They will know. Which cook with me did we bust your, out the meat masher? And if this is your first time watching, we make up names to utensils and those are legit names. So this is a meat masher, not a whatever <laughs> it's really called. <laughs> Okay, so we are gonna let this brown here. All right, so we almost got all the meat browned. Um, I like to add some garlic powder in here, so I just sprinkle it over the meat, just so it gets all in there. You could just do it in the crock pot if you want to, but I just like to put it in the meat. It's smelling good, guys, just with that garlic powder. Boom, so good. Okay, so we're gonna go toss this in the crock pot though. All right, I'm gonna just dump this in here. Oh, and break it. That was my bad. <laughs> So there you go. 
So there's no need to like strain it or anything like that, the grease? Well, nah. Um, I think my questions are not very good today. <laughs> no, they're not. Well, this one didn't really have much grease. I got a pretty lean meat. So this one was is fine. And I'm okay with a little bit of grease in my chili, not gonna lie. So there's the meat. So now, literally, we're just gonna pour everything in here. I'm actually going to add the chili powder right now and just sprinkle some of that. I'm gonna put it in my hand because I'm legit. And will we so, write the recipe down? Yes, we can. But honestly, with my chili, I usually just do it to taste. I know that's crazy, but that's kind of the best way sometimes. So I'm gonna just sprinkle this in, boom, boom, boom. So that's chili powder, and then we're gonna do some ground cumin. And we're gonna just sprinkle that in also, boom. Okay? You better not say what you said last time. I know, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do, I get the petite diced tomatoes because my kids aren't huge fans of um, tomatoes, so I get the little ones, so they can't really notice when they're eating it. And really, you guys, you can dress this up as fancy as you want because my kids, honestly, are just, like, picky. So, um... Yeah, how many of you have kids that the second they see, like, tomatoes, they're like, I don't like it. Yeah. And, like, they just totally turn off from the food when... And then you're like, you know what? You, haven't even you better try it. this if you want to eat tonight, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, this is good. This is actually pretty good. So yeah, our kids are not like, so you could add onions in here. We're not onion fans um, or garlic you can put in. Um, yeah, you can really dress it up however you want. This is just how we like it and it's, it's good for our family. All right, then we got um, Hunt's tomato sauce. This is just one can. So just pour that right in there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Smells so good. It does already, right? I'm oh like, man. Okay, and then we are gonna do the beans. So I need to drain and rinse these beans and then we're gonna pour those in. I love this Pampered Chef can opener. I know I say it every single time we use it. Yeah, and it did not work very well for us though during oh. our surf drumming challenge. Yeah, I hope you guys saw that by the way. That was the bomb challenge, no joke. Yeah, we went through a lot for you guys on that challenge. <laughs> It was actually kind of fun. Oh, totally. Especially like looking back at it and now that the stench is gone, it was fun. All right, you guys, so I got all of the beans rinsed and drained. So I do the dark red kidney beans. We're gonna pour those in, boom shakalaka. I do the light red kidney beans, pour those in. Boom shakamaka. It adds some color. You see the dark light contrast. And then we're gonna do boom black. Ooh, boom. boom kind of like a rainbow but not you know um, so. <laughs> not many rainbows I know of have black <laughs> whatevs okay and then I know you guys are gonna think this is crazy but I do this I don't know maybe some people do do this I don't think a lot I put brown sugar in it and it do do this do -do. no do do in my food please <laughs> don't do do in the foodie <laughs> do -do -do. hashtag do do <laughs> so I do like I usually do a full cup but to be honest I used all the brown sugar so this is all I have left so it's almost a cup so if you have a cup, use a cup. This will still be fine. So I'll just put this in here. Boom, boom, boom. And that will soak right into all that yumminess. All right, so that's it. That is all the ingredients. You're just gonna kind of mix it around. And I will, I like mine a little bit more soupy than this, so I will add like a, probably a cup of water into here. So, oh my gosh, it already smells so delish. Mm. Is there a mm. setting on the crock pot that you put? Yeah, I'm gonna do this one on um, high today so that it's ready for when the kids get home. So we're doing six hours. But you can also do it for eight if you have a longer period of time. So I'm gonna add one more cup of water. We like it soupy. Soupy boopy. Boom. That just gives it a little bit more juice, but it doesn't take too much of the flavor out. So look at that. Listen to that. <laughs> Like I said, our kids like it plain like this, you guys, but it really has got so much flavor in here. It's so good. And then, once this is all cooked up, you guys will see in the next clip, it will be six hours, and you guys will see how this turns out. We're gonna put them in these awesome bread bowls. This is the only way to eat chili. It is so good. You take out all the insides, and you can like put the chili in there, and then dip it, and then eat it. 
Reminds me of Disneyland's um, clam chowder bowls. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. so good. So you could probably, if you're a bread maker, you could probably make these homemade, but um, I'm not a bread maker, so I need to learn. But we're gonna do it. We got the, This is like a dollar at the bakery at the store, so we got six of them. So six bucks, that's not bad. So we'll just throw it all in here, and we'll show you guys the final product as soon as this is done cooking up in six hours. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it has been six hours. The beauty of TV, right? Okay, so chili is done. Boom, look at that. We're gonna stir it up here. Oh, and one thing I did add through the day, cause I've been kind of tasting it, just, you know, cause um, is it just needed salt. So I put some salt in there. But otherwise, boom, done, delish. So there's that. Just enough liquid. Yep. It's like perfect, right? Yeah. I know, and it looks so boring, but like I said, my kids like, we like it plain, and it's still delish. And you can so. get some cheddar cheese and sprinkle it on top. Boom. Oh, there you go. And boom. Boom. So you can get creative with the toppings, you know, so it's nice. So, bread bowls, this is how they come. I just cut the top. Boom, boom, boom. I know, I'm a lefty. Do you think someone's gonna say um, you're supposed to cut the bread a certain way? Probably. <laughs> Every video there's something I learned, that's for sure. But, this is how I do it, folks. Okay, so just cut it around, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. And then you just take the top off, look at that. Oh, this is the best part. You just like, take it, dip it. Oh. So good. So you can either leave this in here like this, but I like to take it out a little bit. Ooh, I like to take it out when I'm eating the Oh yeah, the chili. see it's just however you prefer. Yeah. I like to take it out and put it on the side just to have something to dip in there also. So, and plus it makes the bowl a little bigger. You can fit a little more. So, Ooh. Yep, so there you go. So there's that and then we're gonna just literally scoop this stuff right in there. So watch this guys. Oh, restaurant style. That's right. And that's so filling. Like, like look that's at that. way filling. That is like, I'll be surprised if anyone finishes this. Yeah. So, anyway, so there's that. And then you just top it with whatever toppings. We are going to do cheese. So you guys know we love cheese. And then we're going to sprinkle it on. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to do a little plop of sour cream. Boom. And you can put it on as much as you want. Ethan, I know, loves sour cream. I love sour cream. And that's it. That is the chili bread bowls. So bring Ethan down right now to try this one out. Yeah, good plan. All right, so here you go. Ethan, try her out. Here, just dip your, and then we'll sit down and eat it. Is it hot? So hot. A little, let me try it with the bread. Okay. You got something hanging. <laughs> That was so good. <laughs> He's been so excited for this. Do we all get our own bowl? Yeah. Oh yeah, you know it, boy. Okay, peace out. See ya. <laughs> you ready for one, boy? Want one? Yeah. Guys, so <laughs> <laughs> beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you do. Ooh, no sour cream here. And Elijah's not a real big bean boy. I'm kind of funny. No, but you could still eat it with it. Try it. You'll like it. You like it? So do you like it? Yeah, let me eat Guys! Guys, you guys could literally do this. How is it? It's not spicy, but it's like it's hot. Hot. But it's good? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so that is it for our go-to weekly busy night meal. Don't forget to go check out Noreen's meal now. It looks amazing. I'm excited to try it myself. Go check her out. Go subscribe, so love Go subscribe to her channel. Um, leave her a comment, let her know what you think. She, I'm telling you, she is the queen of the kitchen. Go check her out, you won't regret it, and we will see you guys tomorrow.